I was raised here in Santa Cruz with a rod in my hand. So when I was either wasn't surfing or doing anything else, I was pretty much fishing off the harbor or whatever boat I could get onto and really loved it. And so eventually ended up being around it too much and it actually became my way to make money. I've worked on, on just about all industries and aspects of California fishing from crab boats to salmon boats. I've worked on longline boats. I've worked on gill net boats back when it was actually legal. I've worked on trawlers. So I have a really good perspective and I, I know pretty much exactly how fish came out of the water here in California. I've actually done it with my own hands. So it's like, it gives me a pretty unique perspective. 17 or 18 years ago is when we started our business and I was actually running my own boat. <laughs> well it was very simple back then and uh, it was just Hans and I. We decided through some friends who kind of were in the same business that were retiring and they let us know about this opportunity and Hans was a commercial fisherman. I just kind of like um, took over from one market when they retired and started selling my catch that I caught myself and I really loved it because it was really um, an incredible thing to actually catch a fish, cut it up, and then actually hand it right to the people that were going to consume it, you know, boat to throat. So basically we started with one farmer's market and Hans's salmon and we sold it um, Saturday mornings at Cabrillo Farmer's Market. So it started just, just that, just the one, we'd come home at the end of the day, count the money, see how we did in sales, and. High five, you know, we were excited. Our business has grown multifaceted. So what first happened was we started adding farmer's markets. We just kept growing and growing and growing. Now we have, I think, about 16 to 18 markets, depending on the season. We started and operate Santa Cruz's first community-supported fisheries program about seven years ago. People sign up, commit in advance, select their share, and then they get it weekly. It's a weekly seafood subscription program. We um, took over this place, which is our new retail storefront. We did, decided to go ahead and um, bow to public pressure, and we opened up a bricks and mortar um, shop now. So we're doing like five times a week, full seafood counter. You can actually watch it get cut up into pieces and put into your bag if you want. It's a really cool situation. So we have this mobile oyster bar. It's called Shucked Raw Bar. So we'll offer um, oyster bar service or we also do roaming tray service. We'll do anything from backyard barbecues to you know black tie events. We do a lot of weddings. What does the ocean mean to me? Um, it, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's my everything, you know, it's, I love uh, being in it, on it, or around it every day, you know, and it's just, it's, it's what keeps me ticking, really, it's like, it's, I don't know what I would have done without it, or where I would be, and now I've gone full circle, and now my kids are starting the exact same stuff here, and they're loving it too, so I'm happy doing what I'm doing, I, I like going to work every day. When I think about how much the ocean just provides for us and our local fishermen who I love like family and our employees that I love like family and mostly our customers. It's a simple little life but I'm grateful for it. <laughs>